In this video, I will go through my process for using forms and gathering and collecting information from those forms in my Elementor, on my Elementor website. So I'm using Elementor Pro, which gives me the option to use the form widget directly from Elementor. I do not need to install a plugin to create a form because it's directly there in the Pro version. And for the purposes of this video, I won't change anything about this form. I have the name, email and message field, which is all I need. I will click on update and preview my page. And let's just in insert some basic information here. So I will create this. Some basic information. And click on send. Now, if I go to uh, my dashboard, you can see that I don't know where to find uh, how I can track uh, who actually left some information on my website, how many people filled the form, where is this information stored. I should get an email with this, but I would like to create some kind of database uh, in order to track this information. For this, I'm using usually a plugin. So I will go to my WordPress dashboard plugins and add new. I will go to my search field and I will type Elementor contact form database or DP. And let's see. I'm using this plugin right here by WebAce Tech Services. And as you can see, what it says is that it is a simple plugin to store Elementor Pro form submissions. That's exactly what it does. It creates this kind of database where you can track who filled in your form, who left the information on your website, and you can store those submissions. So I will go ahead and click install. After installing, as with every other plugin that you're using, you need to activate it. So let's click on activate. And once it is activated, you will see that uh, this Elementor DB or Elementor database is appearing on the sidebar of your WordPress website. So if I click on it, then here I would have my submissions. Now, of course, in order to see something, let's go ahead and fill this once again. So let's say Marco, this time click on send. And if I refresh my page, let's see, there, there it is. So I have my submission right here in this list. And actually, if I click on it, I can see if it is, if I have read or uh, if I haven't read it yet, uh, which page it was submitted on. I can see the uh, email form ID and I can just view submission and all the information would appear here. So the name, email and the message. And that's it. Basically, in this way, you can create this database where you can track those submissions and it makes it much easier for you to uh, follow up on these and to store this information on your website. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment or subscribe.